Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison, if you're new. I'm also an author, I've written two books so far. If you want to see what those are and what they're about, all the information is in the description box below. So welcome and welcome back everyone. Um, this time we are getting our messages from our beautiful Mother Planet Earth, and so I'm using the Nature Spirit Tarot, the only tarot that I use when I ask um, our planet for messages. I'm also going to be using the Spirit of the Animals Oracle, the Gaia Oracle, and the Earth Magic. Okay, I just like to let everybody know what the names are of these because I watch other channels and I'm like, gosh, those cards are so beautiful. I wish I knew what, what kinds those were. <laughs> All right, everyone. So, plus it takes a lot of work in these decks. I know. <laughs> all right so everyone welcome and welcome back um please don't forget to like and subscribe what's going on here um thank you to all my new subscribers man it just really uh makes me giggle with joy when i see that i've gotten new subscribers so welcome my new subscribers thank you all so much um thank you if you're a subscriber from uh, TikTok too as well so if you guys are on TikTok, i'm doing two minute summaries of these readings so if you don't have time for the full 20 minutes you can go ahead and check out the summary for two um, if you're on TikTok and you see the summary and you want a little bit more um check out the 20 minute one here so <laughs> also i do um sell personal readings if you would like to uh set one you can email me at my email address or you can send me a message on messenger i also do uh, i am very grateful for tips and donations my paypal is in that description box below all right aquarius what's up with aquarius let me just get a little closer here to the table oh oh oh, oh. How you want them to go? Yep. Okay, so you've got the Eight of Cups with the Seven of Swords. Yeah, you've had it with somebody trying to steal your ideas. No. It's like five billion cards right there. Okay, what's up with this Three of Wands here? Now this, this spread here I started doing just out of, I, I kind of like out of instinct here. So this is a general reading. This is going to be different for all of you. Sometimes this is past, present, and future. Sometimes this is earthly life and this is spiritual life. Sometimes this is what happened and this is why. Um, it's just, it's going to be different for everyone. But I will give you the main messages. Yes, I knew there was an extra card there. Okay. So there you are, but in the reverse, uh, Aquarius. What? Oh, yeah, you're feeling determined. You're feeling attacked. Um, there's people here that are bugging you, man. This is, look at that. Now, the Seven of Wands is where, you know, this this could be you at work. A bunch of people could be, you know, coming at you and you're defending yourself. Uh, just know that you've got the higher ground here, so you, it is possible for you to win this fight, okay? So it seems like they're attacking you over uh, possibly your intellectual property. These are your ideas, okay? Okay. Um, because swords is, is your intellect, your mind, your thoughts, okay? And if somebody uh, is trying to uh, steal something, that could be, yeah, that, that would be very annoying. Very, very, very annoying. Because when we create things, we want to say, look what I created. And people go, oh, wow, that's really awesome. You know, it's not a selfish thing to, to create something and want people to know it was you. It's your creation, okay? So you're feeling really fed up. Um, but what worries me is, are, are you just going to leave your creation? Are you just going to let them have your intellectual property? Let's see. Because 
this could be, you know, here you are. Are you manifesting again? But something that isn't going to serve you, that isn't going to heal you, that isn't really yours, that isn't really you is what I'm saying. What are you waiting for here? This is, you know, this is like not healing and not getting your wishes, but this is also you, Aquarius. So what are you waiting for? What are you trying to manifest here? Look at this. This has a lot to do uh, with either your spiritual path or your career or possibly both if your career has to do with your spirituality. This is um, manifesting and waiting for your ships to come back in. Let's see what else. Okay, Knight of Cups, man. This Knight of Cups has been all over these readings this week here. So there, this is movement. This is somebody offering you a cup of love, somebody who's like a knight in shining armor, somebody that you want to offer you a cup of love. But this is movement. This isn't just a message, okay? And then what you have here is a, a bunch of options. Now, it could be that if you're this, um, if you're this uh, knight of cups, you may not know who to offer your cup of love to. <laughs> you might... Uh, have a lot of good choices here okay um but if you there may be somebody because of because of this maybe this is someone who has a lot of options i don't there's somebody here there's a knight in shining ar armor who has a lot of options okay but this can also represent things like um, drinking too much, you know, not seeing things clearly, uh, being confused, having too many, like I said, having too many choices. But like, you know, you, you may uh, need to offer a cup of love uh, to somebody and maybe it's this one, okay? But maybe you've been um, partying too much and, and you can't concentrate and you haven't figured it out yet. Could be something like that, okay? But let me tell you something here. This 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 manifesting, possibly manifesting something new is not going to be quite healing for you or it could take a long time for these ships to come in to where your your card flips because the 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 presence of this card means that it's possible for it to flip over and become you know what I mean and become its best energy, which is you, you be you being yourself. And then what we have over here is the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is about, you know, kind of being bored, being apathetic with life. Um, but that's because your life is pretty good. Uh, you don't have a whole lot of problems. And that is the offering of the universe that you don't quite see anymore. Um, so when you get this card right side up like this, my advice to you is to really count your blessings to remind yourself of how good your life is. Okay. Now let's get out the earth magic. Let's see what's up. All right, guys. So I just realized that you got three sevens. Okay. And that includes the bottom of the deck. Seven of wands. Seven of swords. Seven of cups. That is angel number 777. For me as a reader, that means um, really deep lessons in a really short amount of time. So unfortunately, what that means is usually that's a lot of heartache and sorrow that you go through um, in a short amount of time, like one or two, maybe three years or something like that, because that is a short amount of time to, you know, sometimes people get um, hurt and it takes the rest of their lives for them to heal or many 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 years for them to heal but a 777 means that you have uh you go through something really emotionally um hard but because you are on your spiritual path of self-love and you work on yourself and you work on healing as the star does okay when you work on yourself that's that's when um, 777 comes into play and so it's saying to you Aquarius that you have the ability to do this. This is you. Your energy is healing. It is 
about the stars. It is about wish fulfillment, what you want out of life, what brings you joy, what makes you um, feel all better, you know, and, I, and enjoy your life, okay? So my advice to you is to really work on your emotions and that journey, and that's what's going to help you get through. 777, um, that is, I feel like that is a big lesson that spirit is trusting you with because um, I feel like you have to be strong enough to even face something like that, 777. Gaia, nurturing. Oh, an invocation ceremony. Okay, so whew, let's unpack this here. Oh, my. Uh-huh. Yeah, 777. Seven, seven. You are strong enough for this. This is what you are. Bottom of the deck. The whole uh, message here is, Aquarius, you are a shaman. And this, these types of lessons, 777, it's given to you because this is what you are. You've been training lifetimes for this. All right? And so this card makes a lot of sense. I just got this for Libra, okay? And I was led to go into the little book that comes with this. Um, most of the time I get other stuff from this, but I, I was told to go into the book and it was saying things like, um, you haven't been as close to spirit as you have in the past. You had a closer communion with spirit before, and you may have been letting that go recently. Okay. Um, that, and that doesn't mean, uh, meditation. What it means is working with spirit. This is a ceremony. This is an invocation. This is, um, like magic, okay, doing magic, and, and um, I'm a Libra, so uh, during that Libra reading, I, you know, I realized that that's true, I haven't been doing these ceremonies because I have surrendered to spirit, and I've been going with the flow, and I've been staying in the moment, um, but there are, you know, spirit called me back, and the other Libras, and so I feel like this is what this is telling you too, if you haven't been, um, <laughs> oh, hey guys, so I feel like this is a future card now, maybe because of this reading here, because this is manifestation. This is manifestation. This is what she's doing, okay? So this is a warning here, though. Do, don't manifest what you don't want, okay? This is a possibility. I feel like this is kind of a warning. Um, manifest what you do want. See, there, that's this right here. This is confusion. Who do I offer this cup of love to? Who do I manifest? Who do I... Um, well, maybe what this cup of love is, is being offered to spirit. If you, if you don't know who... Because this is like physical life. The, the sevens. This is minor arcana. Major arcana. This is spirit life. So what I feel like this is, is that maybe what you think is you're supposed to offer your cup of love to a person when what you really need to do <laughs> is offer your cup of love to spirit okay that's what you really need to do you need to get back with spirit um, now this is talking about taking some things that are sacred to you creating an altar and using earth air fire and water for that so that's why Gaia came in here Gaia is saying um, yeah, I'm part of this, okay? Um, use earth, air, fire, and water to bring in the fifth element, which is, and, and include the fifth element, which is spirit. It is for spirit. You're being asked to do um, a prayer ceremony with earth, air, fire, and water in the presence of spirit, okay? Because Gaia is saying, I will nurture you. This is what I've always wanted. This is what I do. I am your mother. Okay, so she has come out specifically saying, Child, I am here to nurture you. I am already nurturing you. You already have so much 
that you are feeling bored. <laughs> but I think that you're, you may not see, oh, like I'm saying this, it's not a person that you need to offer your love to. It's spirit. This is the cup of love from spirit that this person doesn't see. Yep, that's it. It's not a person that spirit is telling you to manifest. Spirit is saying, give your cup of love to spirit. Okay, I know I said that before, but that was just confirmed. All right, let's go ahead and see what we get here with your animal, animal cards here. What animal wants to come out? Yep, yep, yep. This is saying, Aquarius, that get close to spirit again. Give your cup of love to spirit and everything. That's when this will come into place. I think that it's saying currently what you are wanting to manifest isn't really what you want. It's kind of what you want, but not really. So I think that you really need to um, offer that cup of love to spirit develop your spiritual communion and then this is what will come in you your true everything that you want truthfully oh man Okay, I've been, I'm looking at this, and, and I'm looking at, I, I think these are geraniums in its mouth, but it's reminding me of roses, and something about the one that got away. Are you giving up on the one that got away? That's, that's interesting, because that really doesn't seem to have anything to do with this one, or, and that must just be a random message for one of you guys. Let me know if it resonates. Wow. Again, the personal choice card. So what that means is when you, um, here, I'll just get the card out. Yeah, on the bottom. Oh, okay. Yeah, so what this means is that, okay, close your eyes. What animal do you imagine? Okay, so what strengths are they known for? What wisdom do they share? And they want you to embrace these qualities. One day I got this in a personal reading um, for myself. And the animal that I saw was the, the unicorn. That's my spirit animal. And um, so whatever you see, also there may have a mount, there may be a mountain involved here. Hmm. Now, giraffe, visionary. Rise above earthly matters. Glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path. Stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. Okay, so yeah, rise above earthly matters. So again, they're saying, offer your cup of love to spirit. It's not a person you're trying to offer your cup of love for. Okay, and it says, uh, glide through life with grace. And gliding is pretty much what, I think this is a hawk, okay? And then it says, stand tall in your self-worth. And this, the, the way this hawk is sitting, it, it looks like it's standing tall along with these wands, right? Um, plus, look at all the yellow. The yellow is, is confidence here. So stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart, okay? Because your self-worth is what again? You're a shaman, okay? Oh, wow. Look at right behind it is rainbow blessings, rainbow blessings. So work on your chakras because that's what the rainbow is. Let's go ahead and get uh, your Gaia card here or two and I'll close out your reading. Once again, everybody, thank you so much for liking and subscribing and following me on TikTok and all that. I am um, I'm also on Facebook. I have a, you know, a small following there as well of, of really very, very nice spiritual people. So, um, I am not maxed out with friends because I don't just friend anybody. I, you know, so if you want to send me a friend request, um, I'll check out your profile 
And if I can see your profile and you seem like you're a real person and not a bot or something, I'll friend you. Okay, so yeah. Lost love, surrender, healing and release. Yeah, okay. So maybe what this is, is someone, you're, you're done. You may have been involved with someone in the recent past and um, you may be moving on from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the one that got away. Um, I don't know, she's the fish for me right now. I don't see a moon in here, but I just feel like this is, yeah, this is surrender, healing, and release, right? So if you're still trying to manifest this same person, um, that's what's not healing. This is not healing, okay? Um, whoops. And also liberation, breaking free from a negative attachment, okay? So this most recent um, past person has been um, a negative person for you. So it looks like um, you're being, that's the 777. That's some emotional, um, that's, that's a really painful lesson to learn. But yeah, it looks like they want you to let go of this person and to embrace spirit. Because when you do that, when you have a very strong connection and, and communion with spirit, your life is going to be blessed with rainbows. Okay, shamans have that very close connection with spirit. And what do they do? They heal. They're happy. They bring healing and happiness to others. So clear your chakras as well, guys. Okay, Aquarius, that's what I have for you today. I really hope that you enjoyed your reading, and I'll see you next time.